Let's take a look at linear functions. The city produces six jobs every year L. Write an equation to show the relationship between how many jobs are produced each year and the total number of jobs K. Okay, well, whenever you have a per year amount, that's gonna be multiplied by the number of years, right? So if it's six jobs every year, meaning six jobs per year, and it's L years, that's going to be represented by 6L. Now that's going to be equal to the total, right? They told us the total number of jobs is K. So we're going to say K, the total number of jobs, is equal to six times the number of years that have passed, right? Because they're producing six jobs every one year. So altogether, we have K equals 6L. The city produces eight jobs every year Q. Write an equation to show the relationship between how many jobs are produced each year and the total number of jobs P. Okay, so almost the same question. We just have some different numbers and variables. Well, the jobs per year, in this case eight, would be multiplied by the number of years that have passed, right? Eight jobs every year for Q number of years. We'd multiply that together. And when we multiply that together, it would be equal to the total number of jobs created. They said the total number of jobs was P. So P is equal to 8Q. A plumber makes $7 an hour and wants to calculate how much money she will make in G hours. Write an equation to show the relationship between the money made per hour and the total money made F. Okay, well, if you're getting $7 an hour, you would multiply that by the number of hours you worked, right? For one hour, seven times one. For two hours, seven times two. So if she worked G hours, we would say seven times G. And that should be equal to her total amount. The total amount of money is F. So we would say F is equal to 7 times G. Ella wants a formula to figure out how far she goes on her runs. She will need the total distance P and how many blocks she ran Q. If a block is 2 meters, write the equation she needs. Well, if each block is 2 meters, and she ran Q blocks, that means the meter she ran is two times as many blocks as she ran, or 2Q. Okay, and that would be equal to her total distance in meters, and the total distance is P. So we're going to say P is equal to 2Q.